Hello guys, welcome to a brand new series of mine, The Commodore James Sun Times. You may be questioning, James, what is The Commodore James Sun Times? Well, The Commodore James Sun Times is an up-to-date newsletter series that covers any series I make or collaboratory works I'm in. During The Commodore James Sun Times, you will hear about updates on upcoming content for me, such as upcoming videos, animations, collaborative environments, and other works of mine not related to a usual topic I am on. All these will be focused within my official channel, Commodore James, and sometimes on my alt account known as Commodore's Bank. If you want to check out Commodore's Bank, you can go ahead and subscribe there for additional content where I usually post adult, EAS, or extra meme material I make there. Be sure to also check out my other social media, such as Newgrounds and Twitter, Twitter being the main updater for upcoming videos. Now that we got that covered, let's go over some of the works that are in work or in development. By now you may have heard that I announced a project on Twitter. Ever since the Triple C became a downfall due to a lack of storyline, I have made a new project called James vs. the Imposter. Directed by me and co-directed by That Green Neko, featuring a lot of people who I know will be featured in this upcoming series. With all the help and suggestions to make a series happen, I have been working on Saturdays at a specific time so we can work on the series. The current status of James vs. the Imposter right now is at a preliminary phase, so what you will need to know is that a storyline is being developed. Mistakes were made during Triple C and I wish that will never happen in the other series I have in mind by going immediately to script writing. It is not known how many episodes there will be and the storyline is completed. A usual season consists of about 10 to 13 episodes, but considering the work done so far I predicted a possible 26 episodes. The number is subject to change, however. So far, 11 episodes have been finished as of the end of September, and for the next couple of weeks, we will continue working over the storyline. While the series is being developed, a couple of people opted to continue voice acting additional characters or their own characters from the previous series. If I ever do want to introduce to the people who are interested to take on a role of voice acting for a character, I might make a form for that in the future. The project is a non-profit series, so we're not money makers or anything just yet. We're just getting started. Well, that's everything you know about James vs. the Imposter. Let's move on to the next one. Some of you have saw episode 0 of Lisa Battle Angel. I was inspired to make this series since 2018 by someone who made a Robot Girl comic and further inspiration of the Alita movie plus the OVA of Battle Angel. So far, this series is put on a definite hold since the primary focus is James vs. the Imposter. We obviously have characters in mind for the series from my co-director Green Neko and someone to act as one of the main protagonists. Some character names I feel dissatisfied with will be changed in favor of more original type of names, and not deriving off the books I've read from sophomore year. I'm planning to do the same process just like we used in James vs. the Imposter. But again, I have no plans to come back to this in the foreseeable future. For Sam Stickman reading comically and dense Windows errors, I have decided to come back to this series whenever I am not on a working day for any of my upcoming series. I had to restart progress for episode 1 of season 6, but it wasn't big of a deal since I had to deal with a OneDrive issue on this new computer I got. But that's been squared away. The series will continue being as it is in season 5 and will not have a storyline because that just takes up too much time and would be a waste for my other series if I do. I also have to mention why Comically and Dense Windows Errors is the name I chose instead of Funny Windows Errors. Well, I am not NKRS 200 or Thunderbirds 101, so the name I chose for the series was pretty unoriginal. In order to make sure I am not influencing the name use, I decided to choose a different name which would now become Microsoft Sam Reads Comically and Dense Windows Errors. Bear in mind by the time I release the first episode, expect an intro change. I know I like the music I put into the intro, but it's just too long to put an extra 60 seconds for a possible 6 to 15 minute video. You probably already heard of this, Microsoft Mike Plays Minecraft continues to run and has been restarted finally after its sudden end in 2017, but now the spin-off of Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft is back. I am still trying to think of a storyline for the next 24 episodes since the beginning is just randomized crap. 
The Minecraft series may lead to even some OP-ness in the next couple of episodes, but I wish not to go off track a lot. I'm thinking during episode 4 is where I start getting serious. I need to do some artwork for the Stickman crew and do the same to my OC characters to improve the look of the series. As seen from episode 2, you can tell that some of the characters have outdated styles and hardly any use of artwork for the characters given throughout the videos. This will be fixed while the series still runs. Krita will be the art program I use instead of making new concepts from Paint.net. Plans on making this an ongoing series is in consideration. A like to Mike Sam 2000's or Pixel Art Builder 583's Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft series, I have no plans to open up collaboration with friends in the series in the future. After making it to college in late August of this year, it's unfortunate to say that I am not streaming this week and probably won't be streaming till further notice. I do need to put a lot of focus because college is way more important than being distracted in front of a video editor. But if I have the time by finishing assignments, I sure could allow myself to do live streaming again. But it is highly unlikely I will stream again until the holidays or during summer break 2022. I know this means I have to let you all down, but this is as far as I can go before I can resume. College is just something I want to focus on in these next couple of years before I can go into the workforce. I don't have a schedule as of now, but if you want to be reminded, keep track of my Twitter for YouTube live streaming. So there have been other things I want to add to my channel because of the hobbies I like to look after. You might expect some other types of videos that are not related by the topic I usually do. But if you're curious what I will do, you're more than welcome to look after it. Unrelated works I may do may range from movie reviews and voice acting. Movie reviews? I tend to critic on certain movies that I like or dislike, or do dub comparisons of what is better. You could expect that I might do that some of the time, but I don't know if I can do that forever since the copyright system could be a bitch. And voice acting. I am involved in a couple of projects that require to voice act my character which is involved in the series, universe, yada yada yada. On a different note, I have been expressing interest to share a voice demo of what kind of characters I'd like to voice over. Some of you may have already heard my acting countless amounts of times because I couldn't just stop. Here's a sample. Fujiko, you cut to the quick. I can't believe how unromantic you are. I mean, I risked my life to bring you this bauble. Not to mention expenses. And what do I get in return for my toil and trouble? Hand it over. Tell me, who's for the pebble for anyway? I assume you're acting for someone else, right? So don't tell me. It doesn't really matter. The fact remains that your part for the bargain was to go on a date with me, remember? Well, then on an offer in mind, in which you're not willing really able to refuse, an offer lots of money but everlasting life. Will you give me an advance? Listen, I've been much around too long to believe in that kind of bullshit. If that is how you respond, it seems that granting this boon to you would be a total waste. Do you expect a demo soon? And while I'm not a paid voice actor, I do not have any plans to go out out just yet. I don't have a commission sheet either if you want me to voice act for you. But if I ever do, I will announce via my SFW Twitter. So be on the lookout if I do. Art is probably one of my favorite things to do, but recently I needed to put some sprites up for a lot of my characters since they're due for a change. While most of my art was created via Paint.net, I recently switched to Krita in favor of a better mode of creating my original characters via a drawing tablet. Art takes precious time, so every time I create art, it means a lot to me. My primary goal is to get a lot of sprites for my other characters done than my OC currently has of now. The fourth generation awaits for all of them, and so is my sprites as well, because they are not all finished yet. Currently, I use a Vike A15 tablet for art. I may even switch from using a different tablet, and in the future possibly move on to a rentware art program such as Psy or CSP to make even better arts. And lastly, works I am collaborating with. This is a special I was working along with my friend, Pixel Art Builder 583, and from his magazine series, he mentioned the Christmas special for 2021. Yes, I will be involved in the project. It's a very big project. Because this is a Christmas special planned in advance, you won't be expecting a Christmas special from me, unfortunately, so be sure in two months you check out Pixel Art Builder 583 and a special when it comes out. I guarantee you, you will like it. I am still involved in his Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft series as of now, ever since I joined him back in 2016. 
I nearly had trouble maintaining my status of becoming a voice actor there for him, but rest assured that has been solved. Do check out Season 7, Episode 17 soon when it comes around. And that is all I have covered for all possible series I make or involved with. But man, time sure does fly by pretty fast because during these past five years of Commodore James, I may have not got a lot done, but things are about to change now that we're celebrating my fifth anniversary of Commodore James on YouTube. When I first created content, I was still in the other account I used where I made text-to-speech videos. I created this account as an alt account for only one purpose, create additional content. Ever since the disruption in November 2016 and the events of a very bad troll, Commodore James thrived on to help keep going what was lost after that. What will I do in these next five years? Well, my goal is I should get to work immediately on James vs. the Imposter. Triple C never came to full fruition and somewhat Lisa Battle Angel. But I think now that I have some friends to get me on the right track, I think this will be a way to go. But thank you for five amazing years, people. I wish to make additional content for you to enjoy if I am still in college. Since this is episode 1, if I missed a series or something I need to put up for the Commodore James Sun Times, do comment below. But until next time, do subscribe for me if you want to be informed of further announcements from me, or series I create or collaborate. Follow my other social medias as well. Thank you, and I will see you later.